So today we're going to look at how to get this sphere with this text spinning around it and the green background. So it's uh, pop over to the timeline and add a fusion composition. So we put a fusion composition onto the timeline here. And what we'll do is we'll just extend it slightly so we've got something to play with. Nothing too long. Let's make it about 10 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to go to the fusion page. And what we want is a 3D shape. And we need our 3D renderer. Connect those up. And shape 3D. So we're going to go with a sphere. So if you see down the side here, not exactly smooth. So what we'll do is we will move the base subdivisions up and the height subdivisions up and it becomes a lot smaller. So it gives the illusion of it being smooth and we'll reduce the radius down. There we go. So now we have our sphere. So we want to go into the templates, edit generators and textured background. Connect those two up. Quite like this one here. Let's just rotate this round so we can see. As you can see there's some lines in there, so what we'll do is we will add a blur. And not looking too bad. Take the blur right up. And for the purpose of the demo, it's not too bad at all. So, what we want to do now is make this rotate. Let's make this rotate, so we'll add a keyframe here. And at the end, that should do quite nicely. There we have our sphere with the texture, which is some idea of movement. Now what we want to do is add some 3D text to this, so it will wrap around. So we'll take our threat text 3D, connect that up, so there we go. So let's change this to spinning world. Take it to that, take our size down, and change that to a circle, change the size. So it fits quite nicely around there. So now what we want to do is move this, so let's change the rotation, the X. Make sure it's 90, so it's perfectly flat. At this point, as you can see, there's nothing showing. Do is change the X axis. Shall we change it in the right direction? Then what we want to do is animate this spinning round. Okay. So we've got our x-axis here. Now what we want to do is make this rotate around the sphere. So we'll come across here to our 
first frame. Pick a point where we want it to come through. So we'll pick there. And then we want it to spin a few times throughout the whole of the clip. There we go, we've got the spinning world. Now what we're going to do is add a background to this. Put a background in. Right, so we've picked a colour. Now what you can see is the background is in front of our 3D image. So quite easy to change that onto the merge node. And then use the swap inputs. And then we have a spinning world with text spinning around it.